In this tutorial, I'll show you how to edit your Riverside.fm recordings in the script storyboard. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, as I've mentioned, we're going to be editing our Riverside.fm recordings. This could be interviews, video podcasts, or even audio podcasts. Next up, you need Descript Storyboard. Descript is really powerful when it comes to editing your audio and video files, like editing a Word document. So, if you'd like to get a Riverside.fm account, you can use the code in the description below to get a 15% off your purchase. Now, Descript, as I've mentioned, is awesome. But Riverside does some of the heavy lifting because you can record separate video and audio tracks using Riverside.fm up to a resolution of 4K for your videos, which is really, really awesome. And you get a high quality video if that is what you're working with. But now, Descript really shines when it comes to editing. Now, I'm going to be editing this interview. So I'll click on View Recordings from my dashboard in the studios. Click on that. And then I'll click on this. So the first step is uh, to go get our uh, recording so that we can make some edits to it. So this is what we have. And I'll click on the Export tab right here. And as I mentioned, because we're going to be editing in Descript, I'm not going to go over anything else right here. So I'll click on Export. And from this, we get a timeline kind of option. So it's going to combine all tracks into one timeline. Export to Adobe Premiere Pro or Descript. I'll click on Descript. That's what we're interested in. And then you'll need to choose a couple of options here. Include which participants would uh, you would like to be included in this. Now, I want David and Dennis to be included. And then once you're satisfied, click on Edit in Descript. You may be prompted to log in into your Descript account. So I've already logged in and I'll click on Edit in Descript. So it's taking me to Descript. And then it's going to give me this uh, wonderful pop-up, Import from Riverside. Each file will be imported as a separate track, which is really awesome. And that is why I mentioned Working with Riverside recordings in the script, you'll be able to edit your recordings. Uh, for example, if there was crosstalk, you can uh, take it out from one speaker and so on and so forth. So I've got David, I've got Dennis, and then we've got location under my workspace or whatever workspace that you want uh, to add there. And then the transcription language is English. I'll click on create project and import files. Click on that. And once you're satisfied with that, it's going to give you this option to open the Descript app, either on Windows or Mac. Click on Open. And it's going to open and create a new project. And it's already uh, adding the sequence and transcribing that particular uh, project that I'm actually working on. So there I'm there, and there is my friend Dennis. So transcribing 100%. So you'll notice that uh, it has titled me as track one. So we've got track one, then it's track one, and so on and so forth. This is really simple to fix. So what I can do here is just click on this, that's a left click, and then click on these uh, edit speaker settings, click on that. And then from here, just come and type out my name, David. And once I do that, I'll click on done. And once I do that, you'll see that everything that I had track one is renamed to Dennis. Now, Let's have a listen to this. Hi, Dennis. How are you? Hi, David. I'm good. I'm good. I'm how are you? I'm fine. So one thing you'll notice is that there is a crosstalk somewhere around here. So we're going to fix that. And to fix that, we need to get into this sequence. Because this is a sequence that was imported, I'll just need to come here to this particular uh, track, right click, press on Edit Sequence, or press on Control shift o Click on that. And once I do that, you'll see track one and Dennis. Now, if we go back, I can play this. Hi, Dennis. How are you? Hi, David. I'm good. I'm good. I'm how are you? Fine. So what we can do here is we can move this or actually come over this section. And once you hover, you're going to see these handles that you can use to do some non-destructive editing. Like once you hold this, you can move this slightly and then bring this back. And you can already see down here that we're having some separation between that. So if I play this. Hi, David. I'm good. I'm good. How are you? 
I'm doing fine. There's no much. Uh... Now, because this is the active track that I've selected, that's why you're not seeing me again. If I click on this going on here, so uh, just a quick uh, jumping in here and asking you, how far along are you with uh, the YouTube project that we're working on? Uh, everything good. So everything looks good. Now, if you're satisfied with this, just click on done. Now, let's go back. Hi, Dennis. How are you? Now, I just want to show you the magic with the script storyboard. Because we have two speakers, that's a scenario of multiple speakers in a recording. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this star here. And once we do, we can add active scenes by active speaker or add scenes by active speaker. Click on that. And what is going to happen is that the script is going to uh, segment our recording here into different speakers. So um, I'm on scene one, Dennis is on scene two, I'm on scene three, Dennis is on scene four, and then the ending scene. So uh, let's play this. Hi, Dennis, how are you? Hi, David, I'm good, I'm good, how are you? I'm doing fine, there's not much uh, going on here. So uh, just a quick uh, jumping in here and asking you, how far along are you with uh, the YouTube project that we're working on? Uh, everything's going good, everything is on schedule. Um, so you can see that it has added scenes depending on what we're working on. But we can take this a little bit further because one thing, for example, you might want to do is do maybe like a side by side. For example, on this scene, scene number four, you may want where I'm on, I'm on screen or something. So I'll click when I've selected scene four right there. I'll click on this particular uh, frame of uh, Dennis on the canvas. And then we'll go to the right where we have the multicam options. I'll actually uh, click on this and you can select another layer and uh, you can select this drop down. So I'll click on script track and this brings me right there. If I click on this to show layer, Dennis is going to come back on screen. So what I can do here is I can make Dennis uh, to be maximum. And then um, just for a second here, uh, I'll click on me and then bring me down slightly like a picture in picture and then from here I can actually just uh, do something like that and then from the layout options I can just make me uh, like a small circle somewhere uh, on the side so something like that so if I play this uh, everything's going good everything is on screen. because I noticed that he's kind of looking at me so I wanted to give that uh, look and feel of that Dennis is looking at me. Um, we should have results uh, probably by the end of the week. Yeah, so far so good. Uh, now that's all. I so uh, looks like I'm, uh, I got uh, cut off here slightly, but we can kind of copy maybe a scene here. And then let's see uh, if it actually works. Paste. Yeah. Um, if I do that and then play. Uh, now that's all I had for you this week. So if you get, get that blackout screen, you can do that. Or even sometimes resetting uh, the scene actually helps. So those are some few powerful tricks you can do in the script storyboard uh, where you can easily edit multi-track recordings super, super fast as long as you have at least separate tracks. That is the audio and the video. Even sometimes when you just have separate audio tracks, uh, you can easily manipulate the video by cropping, by doing those different PIPs that I've uh, walked you through. And it's really awesome uh, that you can actually do something like this. Uh, and in scenarios like this, you can also, uh, let me just actually uh, do another one here. Go back here, show Dennis. And then once I do this, uh, what I can do is make Dennis to fill up everything. And then uh, what we can do is maybe like a crop. Maybe crop up to somewhere like there. Click on tick and then move this to the side. Then click on me. And then we do a crop for my end. And then just do another crop here. Click on this tick, bring it to the side slightly. I can also move Dennis slightly until you get there. And 
you can actually uh, bring it down slightly uh, let's say we do that uh, let's say we work with something like uh, let's say something like that and then for this section this is uh, scene 3 uh, right here I can just uh, control Z sorry I can just make a quick selection of this don't want to move the scene boundary just come here and then go to videos backgrounds and then for this section you can spice it up by adding uh, let's say uh, a fancy background if that is something that you're into let's say we go with something like this just drag and drop it here and then uh, once it's done uh, so what we can do is we can say layer order send to back and that is what we have so you can, you can actually play this good how are you I'm doing fine there's not much uh, going on here so uh, just a quick uh, jumping in here and asking you how far along are you with uh, the YouTube project that we're working on uh, every and something else as always uh, you can decide for example for this section uh, you're going to add some captions click on that and let's see what we get here I'm doing fine with so uh, depending on what you're looking to achieve uh, you can either uh, use what is there or actually work with templates from here uh, depending on what uh, you're trying to achieve so it's really just spicing it up from what you would ordinarily get in riverside.fm even though Riverside also has some powerful editing functions, especially when you want to create 9 by 16 by one by one, uh, have some padding on uh, your talent here on screen and so on. Once you're satisfied, you can click on publish, either publish to the web. This makes it a little bit faster to download or you can go to export and then fine tune for exporting. So that is how you can edit your Riverside.fm recordings in the script storyboard a step-by-step -step walkthrough from start to the end sprinkling some few things that you can do especially when you're working with multiple speakers to set them active uh, active speaker by scene uh, and then creating your own pips or even side by side uh, like this uh, it's really up to you to see where you can take this if you'd like to get riverside.fm the code is in the description also you can also get the script storyboard from the link in the description. I hope this video is of value to you. Thank you so much for watching.